What is accentuated eccentric training? It's basically the reverse of your traditional or your regular training. And it's a powerful way to have an immediate impact on your training outcomes. Instead of placing emphasis on the concentric or shortening phase of the exercise, typically referred to as the up phase in an exercise like a bench press. In accentuated eccentrics, the emphasis is on the lengthening phase of the exercise, like the lowering of the bar to your chest in that barbell bench press. In essence, there's a greater level of external loading applied during the eccentric phase of the lift. Because we can tap deeply into our body's muscle building properties with accentuated eccentrics, we use this in our programming to not simply humble you, but to reap the biomechanical or physiological benefits such as an increase in muscular size and strength, resting metabolic rate, flexibility, and a decrease in the risk of injury. Traditional training focuses primarily on the concentric phase of the workout, like the push or up phase of that barbell bench press. The eccentric phase is typically used to give the muscles a break between exertions. But research tells us eccentrics could be the best time to push the muscle a bit harder. Focusing more attention to your muscles during the eccentric phase of any exercise is a good way to essentially access untapped strength. It's like using a new exercise or hitting your muscle from a new angle. Changing things up can yield results you'd never obtain doing things the way you always have. It's important to note, where there is gain, there is often loss. One caveat to eccentric-based training is eccentric exercises generally increase delayed onset muscle soreness. That soreness you feel up to 72 hours after a tough workout in a big way. That's because in eccentric actions, the weight is greater than the amount of force produced by the muscle. So it creates more microscopic damage to the muscle. So with that in mind, you want to pick loads that make sense. Don't be a hero in the first week of this type of program. Save room to grow. We recommend using the RPE scale to help guide you effectively and efficiently through this new variable. Check out our video on RPE and RIR for more information.